Highlights of the acclaimed series a week on Friday at 9 on BBC Two. Get to know a water buffalo. Honestly, I don't know if you know any sound men, do you, in Kent? You could come at short notice. No, I know a few that make some noise. <laughs> Good evening and welcome once again to A Question of Sport. It seemed to go pretty well right from the start. Uh, I think we had a succession of different captains, Bobby Moore and Bobby Charlton, but then it really homed in on the, what I call the Morecambe and Wise, Henry Cougar and Cliff Morgan. Henry and Cliff, they became the, the team. That's a wonderful time. Here we go. <coughs> uh, and the question is, who is it and which country does she come from? Czechoslovakia. Yes, who is it? She got married to the runner, didn't she, oh, in the Olympics? Dear. <laughs> no, oh, seriously. Yes. Right. She married a chap, didn't she, in the games? <laughs> and I don't know her name. But <laughs> <laughs> I've forgotten the name. But I know she's a Czechoslovakian. Um, no, no. Like, yeah, what? It's, no. it's not quite Two like seconds. Moritz over. Two it's seconds. like. Not uh, no, Moritz. Chaslaska. Chaslaska. Chaslaska, yes. Vera Chaslaska. I think we were competitive in a sense. You wanted yeah. to win. As long as we had a laugh and we had some something comical that happened, I mean, that's what we all just went out for to have a good fun program, really, wasn't it? Fred Truman was the first bowler to take over 300 wickets in Test matches. Who was the unlucky batsman who gave him his 300th wicket? Test I think matches. I was born there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I confer with my captain? Uh, yes, you can. You're doing no good. <laughs> <laughs> David Byrne had gone to uh, Ski Sunday and uh, was preparing for the uh, Winter Olympics in 1980. And Cliff Morgan said, would I mind doing it? So I said, mind doing it. I'd love to do it. They were occasions. They were more than a program. They were occasions. Home team. Oh. <laughs> Name the last player to beat Beyond Borg in the Wimbledon singles. Home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Number three, come on, come on, left back position. Well, I'll tell you one thing, you've chosen the hardest of the two. Oh, thanks, John Spencer. Oh, no, no, no! no, no, no. Kenny Taylor, Kenny Taylor, I got him going. We wanted the people sat alongside Billy and myself, we wanted them to be the stars. Nothing to do with me, nothing to do with Billy. They were the stars, they were the ones that had to go away and tell their pals. It was brilliant on Question of Sport. Make sure you get invited, if you ever get invited, make sure you're on the show because that's what it was, it was entertainment. I wish I was on the other team. <laughs> I've got news for you, I wish you were on the other team. <laughs> you get the easiest question, and it's there, but it won't come forward, you know, it won't come out. It's incredible, you know, when you put on the spot, you can't get a... The, the answer won't come, but you know it. Maybe you can drive my car, and maybe I love you. Oh, go then. About time you something right. <laughs> Kiki Rosberg. Kiki Rosberg. Lester Piggott. <laughs> yeah, I thought you'd have recognised him because it was basically a back shot, and I suppose that's where you see him most. Of <laughs> <it>. I know. <laughs> when you walk down the supermarket on a Wednesday afternoon, you've just lost on a Tuesday evening. You know, I'll get some stick from some of the mothers. But no, it's, it's, it's part of, it, it's just a great show. It's a simple show. But Frank, you've been at it for years now, haven't you? Um, what, pantomime or what, been at it? Yes. <laughs> it's good experience, pantomime, you know, it's theatrical, actor and all that. It's good bass, you know, apprenticeship. <laughs> My makeup's smudging. Could you move on, please? <laughs> it's enabled me to mix with current sports people and when you think of having been there for 12 years the people that I've been privileged to meet you know the great sports people and that's why I, I look forward to every recording day
see who we've got on there. <laughs> Of mega stars. The, the secret is we come down maybe an hour, an hour and a half before the show starts, and everybody's lunch together. So you get to know everybody, and it's a very sort of settling and relaxing atmosphere, and you go out and you really enjoy it. And it's, there's been some good bonds struck up over the years with, and some good friendships. There's a man, there's a man who doesn't need makeup. That's right. How right you are with him. Everyone comes on this show, you meet them in, uh, in a different light, and uh, it's, it's, it's like a, an old school reunion, virtually. How's it going in your field, all the gossip, what's happening? From uh, Glasgow Rangers, the Scottish international striker. He's scored, I think it's nearly 300 times for Rangers, and at least 200 have been gold. <laughs> top man, I mean, he's a top man. He's been cracking that same joke at me in the warm-up for seven years, man. I'll kill him one of these days. Oh, yeah, I was really nervous, you know. Um, I told all my family that I was appearing on it, so everyone taped it. So I was getting really nervous. Two of the most popular sportsmen in Great Britain, Bill and Ian. Youngsters from the age of five, six, seven, all the way up to youngsters of 70, 80 are there saying, yeah, I know who that is, getting it wrong every now and again. But it's audience participation. I'm sure the audience at home are excited. I know when I used to come home, everyone used to say to me, Akabuzi, how do you get that wrong? You're rubbish. Just great fun, and it's full of people from all walks of life that have, I suppose, been fortunate enough to achieve something, and it's just wonderful to be amongst them. Well, I mean, it's your 25th year. I think that's fantastic. I've been, this is my 24th year on the golf circuit. Anything that's lasted longer than me has got to be pretty good. Coop. Ten. Number ten. Ten for the skipper. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> Thanks Jimmy, for the memory. Jimmy Hill, yes. You said yes. Tommy Coop. Yes, not really. No. <laughs> <laughs> not really known as a tennis player. <laughs> it's known in the other circles, of course. It's an entertainment show. The day it ever becomes uh, just a hard-bitten quiz show, which it never will, I'm sure, you will lose 90% of its appeal. It's entertainment. Number six. Oh. Now then. That's the last name, dude. The magician. What's <laughs> <laughs> his name? He's got his own show. I know who it is. I can't think of it. Uh, <laughs> what's he? He's got his son's a magician, isn't he? He wouldn't be on this thing, though, would he? <laughs> what? He wouldn't be what? What sport does he? What's he he's, doing? He's uh, been in the round table, a, 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 a magician. What's his name? Oh, I've got a right pair here, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> well, who's the magician, then? <laughs> no, it's... Oh, no. Do you mean Paul Daniel? That's it. Paul Daniels. Well, he's got him, though. <laughs> no, no, no. That's the one, I mean. Do yeah. <laughs> you know? Is it, it's rugby, rugby union player, and it's Kieran Fitzgerald. I'm going to get over this one. That rugby union player is Pat Pocock. I'll have number 11, please. Is it, yeah, it, it, is it John Reed? <laughs> <laughs> John Reed? The jockey. Yes, well, the answer is no. <laughs> who, who is it? God, it's not, is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah, go on. Is it Princess Anne? It's Princess Anne, yeah. Thank <laughs> 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 you, Ron. Thank you, Ron. Oh, no. <laughs> I will say nothing. Don't put that out, please. <laughs> oh, you can't put that out. <laughs> I can't, they'll, they'll hang me. <laughs> I suppose Emily knows, do you? Well, we got a bit help on the left here. <laughs> Test away, Test Um, it's Windjammer. The horse is Windjammer, but the rider. <laughs> you Windjammer. didn't say you wanted both. <laughs> Either or. I can see you're with the right captain. <laughs> yeah, well done, mate. Well done, mate. Well done, mate. <laughs> Good stuff. You can come back again. <laughs> I can imagine the viewer watching, looking at that show, saying, "You can't do that, Emily. You know, you can't tell the princess right that." We have a point for saying it's a lady. It's worth a no, point for the horse, it, I think. It is actually a girl, and then. Yes. Is it? It's. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, clever. <laughs> 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 she was on the team in the Olympics and had a fall um, in the water. And I know her as well as one. 
um, neighbours too. It sometimes happens to me, ma'am. <laughs> yeah, I sometimes forget the name. <laughs> Not very often, but sometimes forget the name. Okay. Sometimes. You have to ascertain oh, that we know By the way, Evelyn, I know you've been practicing all week with your arms folded. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I would love to put the arrow in there. I'd love to put the arrow in there. Well, a point for Windjammer, yeah. and the tiny rider is? Clapham. Uh, I'm afraid I'm not going to give you the point, because I let you on to it slightly, didn't I? Because you're yeah. known as Tiny Clapham. Uh, thank you, David. Uh, number oh. six, please. Same. <laughs> Well, he sat there. <laughs> um. Oh, no. He's mad, whoever he is. <laughs> I have done some uh, obscure things. Uh, I remember one Monday morning after a heavy nice drinking session, they asked me to, to clean the elephant house on, in Chester Zoo. To cap it all, uh, I went uh, away last year to Finland to so another dress up as Father Christmas. The fantastic thing about that was I actually went to, to some homes in Finland and gave some presents out to some children uh, over there, and they actually thought I was the real Father Christmas. So to see the the look in the children's eyes was, was superb. absolutely hopeless on the mystery guest. It's the one thing that I never get right. I always struggle. Um, when I first started doing the program, my wife said to me, said, look at the size of the feet. She said, if you've got small feet, they're likely to be women. If you've got big feet, they're going to be blokes. So I thought, no problem at all. The floor is yours, Bill. Well, at the moment, we're split between <laughs> male and female. <laughs> Trouble, uh, I have a lot of trouble with this <laughs> problem, and, uh, but I think it's male. I'm going to have a guess for Jim Watt. And it is... Anne Hobbs! <laughs> Gillian Jilks, the badminton player, uh, she, she was a mystery guest one day, and we didn't know who it was, and it was the days when uh, Brian Robson had permed hair. <laughs> so, who was that? I thought it looked like Mike's voice, but I wouldn't think anything. <laughs> well, Brian Robson. <laughs> no? I haven't even got the right sex. <laughs> when he played in front of 50,000 at Old Trafford the following week, everybody was chanting Gillian Jilts' name. <laughs> Just the way that We, we weren't convinced sure. the hair was his. <laughs> oh. Well, it probably was, but just say... Didn't you think it was Duncan Goodyear? <laughs> <laughs> well, the moustache. Um, uh, Sam Torrance. Sam Torrance. Uh, I'm afraid it's not Sam Torrance. Right. And I just want to have a look at Gary Lineker. Uh, just watch Gary's face. It's, it's one of his closest it. friends. Oh. It's Willie Thorne with a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Paul home or away? Very good. Is the question too difficult? Gazza, when he came in, came in early. And uh, he wasn't drinking or anything like that. He'd been warned by Terry Venable. But Ian Bolton, by some means, persuaded that an Advocar was not an alcoholic drink. I then got on the, on the set and realised it was with me. Paul home or away? <laughs> Away, away, please. Away. Len Rush. 
Len Rush is trainer of the Queen's Flight. Which sport are we talking about? Pigeon racing. Well done. Yes, pigeon racing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, no, I'm a pigeon. Uh, yes, actually, you are a pigeon uh, racing fan, aren't you? He rides them. <laughs> <laughs> right, look serious now, you're worried. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go away. We'll away? Away now, we're going to gamble now. Which sport includes an Albion, a new national, and a long western? Oh, my racing. Lawnmower racing? <laughs> <laughs> I just love how you come up with lawnmower racing from Albion, New National and Long West. Lawnmower racing? Gre greyhound racing? Uh, no, it's not greyhound racing, so chance of a bonus, Emlyn. We've discounted yachting, because I spelled it wrong as... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Yatching. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yatching. 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 Shooting. It is a form of shooting, but you've got it wrong. It's archery. Oh, now I've got it. <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> in which sport did Uruguay win a European title in 1959? A European title? <laughs> It's impossible. <laughs> Can't be done. It was done in 1959. Oh, so what, Europe was different then, was it? <laughs> no, which, no, no, I think you... In which sport did Uruguay with a European yes. title no, in 1959? Yes. No, no, yes. no, no, I've got it, I've got this, I've got it. I've got this. It was in the European Subutio Cup. 1959? <laughs> I suppose their boat got diverted in the storm. So. Well, no. <laughs> No, the English team were playing with the European, uh, the Uruguayan team, wasn't it? Uh, they all paint their different subutio. I, I mean, I painted mine Leeds United colours. <laughs> I stood on Bobby Charlton's head once. Go <laughs> jumping. <laughs> Uruguay, ridden by Piero Denzeo of Italy, won the European Championship. Yeah! <laughs> We've done uh, some audience research on the various rounds, and uh, what happened next is the most popular, by far. And of course, it's one of the funniest as well. Isn't it rich? Are we a pair? Me here at last on the ground. You. Isn't it bliss? Don't you approve? One who keeps tearing around, one who can't move. Where are the clouds? Send in the clouds. As soon as the, the, the David mentions the word the minute round, my head goes completely empty. Snooker, Ray Reardon beat which man twice in world finals? John Spencer. No. Uh, Alex Higgins. No. Carry on, I'll tell you in a minute. And if he asked me the simplest question in the world, I'd, I wouldn't know it, because under pressure in that way, I have terrible trouble getting the words out of my head from my brain. Their surnames could be found in a pond. Think, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. It's could be found in a pond. And which a are there? Frog toad. Alan. <laughs> Fo um, <laughs> fish in a pond. Eel. <laughs> John. What can be found in a pond? Weed. Lily. Uh, Lily. 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 Which one, which one yeah. Lily? Ear Lily. Alan Lily. John Cricket. Lily. Yeah. John. Yeah. yeah. Who's that? Right? Go on. Um, Lily. Uh, what? Weed. What? John Weed. Reed. <laughs> John Weed. <laughs> Tessa Sanderson once answered in the minute round the question for the opposition. Uh, 75 was the English girl. Quick. 
Um, Wade. 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 Wrong. Wade 77. Wade 77. Wade 77, right. Two points. Gulagon 75. Wrong. King mm. 75. <laughs> 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 Whose who side are you on? <laughs> Sterling, name the winners of the All Ireland final in 1993. Derry. Um, Galway. Cork. Limerick. That's the end of Ireland. Off we go. <laughs> <laughs> Move on. Emlyn? Number one, please, Dave. Oh. Oh, oh. no! I can't believe it. How can I always pick them idiots on that? <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> now you got your list, Susie. How many have you got on it? Well, well to kick off, is it a bird or a I know. Okay. Don't give him any clues. She's not carrying a lot if it's a woman. <laughs> <laughs> not really. <laughs> Kate Yates covering it. <laughs> covering what, Emlyn? I don't know. I, I, I think it's a fella. Well, who, who, who have we got? <laughs> it's not me old mate, is it? No. It's not Princess Anne, no. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not getting done again for that. <laughs> Tiny Clappen. <laughs> or Jane Alderness Rodden. <laughs> we'll have to... S I think it's a fella, you know. If you, I'm going with you two, but I think it's a fella. Ian Stark. Ian Stark is wrong. <laughs> I think he was getting close when he said Princess Anne. I think it's the other half. Mark, uh, Rich, no. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you just I be quiet? Like <laughs> when I dive in, it's both feet, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Four. <laughs> that, there we go, all yours. Just like the Somerset, I think. Oh. And you were captain, Beef? <laughs> no, no. He did, I'm remembering. He used to carry your bags to the car. <laughs> <laughs> You've had many drinks with him. <laughs> He's a great swing bowler, left arm bowler. What, about that? <laughs> <laughs> what would really annoy me is if this little wazaki in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got to tell you, Ian, he's got it. He's had it for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lovey's got it. I wish I'd well, never said four now. I thought it was a good joke. Stupid question, stupid number. I don't know. Well, he, he went to school very close <laughs> to here. Oh, I do know it is. Yeah, right, right. Rob, Andrew. Yeah. Rob Andrew says, Ian, he's got it right, but they get the two points. Uh, yeah. This is a good one. She's not a rugby player. <laughs> Could be a cricket player. Is it, is it, is it um, a snooker player? Can. What's her name? Huh? Alison Fisher. Yeah! Alison Fisher. Snooker player. Number one snooker player. Go on! Go on! <laughs> <laughs> You know it is! You know it is, mate! You don't tell any porkies, mate! <laughs> I know it isn't. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, come on, Bill, tell me it is. Yvonne Murray. What was the other name you've got? Stephen Henry. Stephen Henry, the oh. snooker champion of the world. Oh, boss, buddy! <laughs> boss, what the hell? I was with a family of... of three brothers and uh, we all used to sit down and after our tea and uh, watch the watch the question of sport and we would always have sort of quizzes against ourselves, see who would get the most points during the show. Good shout. It is as well. Is it? <laughs> it is as well. Her Royal Highness Princess Anne got this right. Fatima Whitbread. She never got it right. <laughs> Yeah, we knew it is. <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> it goes across the other side for a bonus chance. Uh, have another go, Bill. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> is, it is it Prost? Hang on, hang on a minute. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a singer, isn't it? Isn't it, um... Singer? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> David Essex, yeah. David Essex. David Essex. <laughs> No. Alan Cross, that's the only thing. Isn't it? Nice and bloody singer. <laughs> <laughs> well, what sport does he do? No, he doesn't. <laughs> right. Well, it's not Fatima Whitbread. Uh -huh. In fact, Princess Anne, I'm afraid you got the sex wrong there. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's the Welsh international football player, now with Barcelona, formerly with Manchester United, Mark Hughes. He's a good singer. He's a very good singer. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Sings very well. Number five, please, David. Um, going, going for the co uh, co Olympic Games. Olympic Games, we think it's an old picture of Riddick Bow. Riddick Bow, it is. <laughs> By the way, if you want to turn the sound down a little at home, we understand just what you mean. <laughs> it's more than a programme, Cushing Sports. It's an institution, isn't it? Everybody knows that when the series starts, it's on, and, you know, people are talking about it the next day when they've seen it. Oh. Steve Carson. It's not Steve Carson. Have you taken over the captaincy well, now? More, more or less. Oh. Sit down. <laughs> Paul Gascoigne. I'm in with you. <laughs> I'm on a Paul, Paul Gascoigne right. in the front. <laughs> Come on, Dean Richards. Wrong, but it is a cricketer, one you know, and Graham one you Fowler. know well. Graham Fowler, of the Lancashire, said no. former <laughs> England <laughs> opening. Did he say Graham Fowler? I said Graham Fowler. Do yourself, what do you say? Oh, I don't believe it. Did he say Unlucky, pal. You didn't sure. get anything, though. Have a go, No wonder you're on sporting triangles. <laughs> <laughs> Having a bit of fun, cracking jokes, testing the sport knowledge. I think that's the secret of the whole programme. It's Mike Ellerton just waiting to speak to the English press again, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's going for a selection meeting with Raymond <laughs> Illingworth. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way I'll pick my own side, he said. <laughs> <laughs> Ian's asked me to do a little bit of Imran Khan, but... Uh, <laughs> I would only come on the show if I was captain, so... <laughs> Do you enjoy cricket? No. No. <laughs> do you know what I ran shit, nor do I. Uh, uh, do you know much about your captain? A little bit. A little bit. Do you know his name? Iron. 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 <laughs> uh, the current two lads, I think, have do, been doing a great job for ages. Well, three lads, of course, with David, but uh, Ian Botham and, and um, Bill Bowman. Uh, I've, I've enjoyed their company immensely. Frightening me on this side. <laughs> his brain's about the same state as Bill's shirt. <laughs> this shirt's a lot bigger than these brains. Yeah. I'll tell you what, it's certainly more colourful. Yeah. So I've done the last five or six years with Bill, it's been, a, it's been an absolute pleasure, and he's a great chap to work with. We, we mix extremely well, sort of on and off the screen. We had a, a skiing holiday where we went away on the piste, as they say, and uh, we had a lot of fun. I think the one person who stands out though is David Coleman because he he is the he is the show to me. But what people don't realise is that he's he's a sports nut. He knows all the answers. Both of them always said he knows the answers because he got them there in front of him. But I think that his knowledge of sport is second to none. So many programmes change for change's sake. If it works, keep it going. Why change it? I hope the programme will last forever. Because my little grandson watches it, and he's eight. Mine's only uh, 14 months at the moment, but he hasn't seen it he's yet. Hasn't but, seen uh, yet. <laughs> but he, I wanted to get him into it. <laughs> You've cracked it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Good stuff. You can come back again. And a brand new series of A Question of Sport begins next Friday at 8.30.